Located in the West Wing of the White House, the Presidential Workspace is a place where decisions are made, meetings are held, and legislation is signed. If those bowed walls of the Oval Office could talk, just imagine what they'd say. Well, the person working in that office changes from time to time. The historic feel still remains the same. But presidents are allowed to put their own personal touch on things in the office. ClickOrlando.com's Brianna Voles is here now with a look at how the Oval Office changes with each administration. Well, Bridget, changing decor in the Oval Office might not be one of the most quintessential decisions a new president makes, but it's done every time nonetheless. Between each administration, presidents are allowed to make slight tweaks to the decor in the Oval Office, such as swapping in another rug or hanging different artwork on the walls. The artwork is usually symbolic and is typically a person in history who the president may admire or want to resemble as a leader. The changes aren't drastic, but it does say a lot about the president. So here are some pictures of the newly decorated Oval Office, just after President Joe Biden moved in a week ago. So behind his desk, there's the table with family photos. You gotta have those. Over the fireplace, you see portraits of former presidents. To the left of the fireplace, there's a sculptured bust of civil rights leader Martin Luther King Jr. And that's not the only bust of a civil rights activist in the office. President Biden also has busts of Rosa Parks and Cesar Chavez. Now, as far as presidents, there are busts of Abraham Lincoln and President Harry Truman. So now that we've seen what the Oval Office looks like now, let's take a little scroll back through history. We'll start with President Ronald Reagan. Here he is with Prince Charles. That's in 1981. Talk about a throwback, right? And next up, we have President George H.W. Bush. You can take a look at his presidency in pictures there. And we have Bill Clinton from 1993 to 2001. He was in the Oval Office. And I want to show you this because you can definitely see how the furniture has changed since the 90s. I'm sorry, is that a peppermint couch? That's a peppermint looking couch. That's a picture of him holding a cabinet meeting there in the Oval Office. Now, let me show you a more powerful photo. This one will definitely take you guys back. Right here, you can see in this photo, National Security Advisor Condoleezza Rice, we've got speechwriter Mike Gerson and presidential counselor Karen Hughes, and they're all surrounding President Bush's desk as they work on his address to the nation following the September 11th attacks. You can only imagine what that was like. Now we'll scroll a little bit further and you see this first photo. This is from the first day of President Barack Obama's morning in office, January 21st, 2009. That was his first complete day of the Obama administration. And then lastly, we'll just take a slight throw back here to President Trump and you can see in this third photo from his uh, presidency here that he's talking to journalists while hosting workers and members of his cabinet for a meeting in the Oval Office. So it has definitely changed. I see a Keurig, I think, oh no, those are coins. I thought they were K-cups. That's what my office would look like. We took a trip down memory lane and you can see more of those on clickorlando.com. If I'm ever president, you'll see K-cups. I'm, I'm sure yeah. they're in there somewhere, yeah. Brie. They have to be. Everyone's gotta have them. I'm surprised I don't see shiplap though. Because, I, I mean, it's all the rage of the last couple of years. Right. So I guess Joanna well, Gaines Joanna has in there. <laughs> she hasn't you know, gotten in there she, yet. She has a few ideas, too, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah.